so guys in this video we are going to take a look at how we can change the forms based on the selection in the drop down like if i choose work the form will change and not only the form will change but also the background color of the container will change too and this is very easy to do and is uh, uh, you know very useful when your client is requiring a setup where the entire form with all its fields uh, are changed based on what the customer is looking at for example the customer is looking at the complaint uh, complaint uh, emails then the form will you know display all the fields and it should have all the you know content regarding the complaint if they are looking for the partnerships the content will change entire form will change and the form uh, you know uh, content should go to a different email that can be done using the single form as well you can specify uh, selection field and based on the selection field you can sure hide different fields and you can use dynamic email to you know uh, send the email based on uh, what the user wants or how user interacts that is a different thing but this is also very useful and can come in handy at various you know uh, places so uh, let's quickly get in and see how I have done all this so here is the website and here is uh, the editing page of the same so here you can see I have like very few uh, containers and elements like this main container having this HTML field for this drop down over here and then I have two containers for the two forms okay for the work and for the office right uh, the office one is uh, currently hidden okay because of the uh, you know uh, scripts and all so let's quickly see how i have designed everything so in this one i have this html code where the id of this uh, <coughs> drop down is select slct and i have two options work and office the value of work is work this is a label this is the value and this is for the office one <coughs> i have set uh, an attribute for the color as well which will uh, help me to change the background color for the container when the work is selected and when the office is selected okay now i have two containers for the containers you can see i have this class css class box work and then i have this class box office okay and in the form you can see that i have no any uh, custom id or css class okay these are the basic forms with name and uh, just a name field okay and a send button so nothing fancy i have done now let's uh, look at the very important part of this element which is uh, html code over here which uh, is having this uh, jquery uh, code CDN which is required for this script to work perfectly and the script uh, goes like this like I have made a ready function and when the selection you know option changes then you need to you know find the option that is selected and <coughs> I have this variable over here which is for the attribute value so option value well you know assess what value is being or is selected and if option value is selected then i will check for the form background we can ignore uh, at the moment this form background and we can see the main part which is this one only okay and later on we will see how to change the color okay so if the option value is selected for example if i select work okay so option option value will be work because it is uh, you know taking the value from the attribute value and that value is work okay so if the work is selected okay i have selected the work for example then dot box dot box box work was a css class of this container okay for the work container and if that is selected then the box and not the you know dot work should hide okay <coughs> and dot work okay dot option values work so dot work will show okay 
so all the boxes but not the uh, box with work will hide and dot work will show so you can consider it as like uh, if we select work then all the boxes like this container uh, will hide but not the one which is having box work okay which is this specific one where we have box work i css class <clears throat> so when the um, work is selected then uh, work will not hide and others will hide okay this is uh, what the code says okay and the same goes with office so if we select office then option value will be office then all the boxes but not uh, the office one will be hidden and the office one will show okay option will use office then dot office should show okay that is the transition delay uh, under this brackets and now let us see the uh, <coughs> part where it is about color so form bg is now a variable which is holding the value inside the attribute color okay so now we have this attribute color red okay so form background will be if option is selected work then this would be the color red okay because for the work selection we have the color value red right and when the work is selected then the body dot css the background property of this css in body element will be changed with form background fab form background has a value of color so the background color uh, will be now having the property the property background where the color will having the value of form bg which is equal to the color attribute okay so in very simple way it would be like uh, background color for the entire body changed with the uh, color defined in the option value of uh, work okay or whatever that is selected by the user and else dot box will be hidden like the entire containers with the you know class of box will be hidden so that is a weird case and that can also be uh, you know part of your setup where you want to hide all of them in initial stage when no selection is made or you can choose to you know, show the first one whatever you want so that is how it works i will leave uh, you know this code in the description so you can use it as it is and play with it and see how it works for you so when updated now you can see that this works as expected okay <coughs> so when work selection is made then the background color is red when the selection is office then it is office and the form changes so that was a very very useful thing and uh, i did it for some of my clients and they were very happy with what results they got so this was all for this video i hope you enjoyed and learned something new and if you want to watch more videos like this then please stay subscribed and uh, share this video with your friends who are you're looking to have more content regarding elementor wordpress says and all so yeah this was all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one